welcome to the video lecture series of data structure our today's topic is introduction of tree and graph and then we will see about the applications of data structure myself janish shah so let's start outlines of the today's lecture is the first we will see that what do we mean by tree then what do we mean by graph then what about the operations on data structures and then we'll talk about the real time examples of data structure so let's start with the tree students if you ever remember that what do you mean by the tree now tree is nothing but it shows the hierarchical relationship between the elements now just imagine a situation in your college director is there under the directors so many faculties are working okay under the faculty so many students are working so director under the director faculties and under the faculty students are working this relationship of elements is known as hierarchical relationship of elements so such type of data structure where the elements are stored in a manner of hierarchical fashion that known as tree in tree one designated node is there which is known as a root node okay fine let's see the figure see this in this figure you can see the node a the node a is known as a root node now each and every node contains two different nodes one is a parent node and second one is a child node students if you remember the tree tree has leaves yes tree has root yes same like that here the top node top node of the tree is known as the root node and the last node of the tree is known as a leaf nodes okay students each and every node contains children and parent node now but if you can see that in the last line or in the leaf node leaf node does not contain any children node or any child node fine so this is the example of tree there are so many definitions in tree but we will see in the tree chapter now let's move forward to the next thing next topic is graph now graph is a consist of vertices and edges now what do you mean by sir sort of graph okay two things are there the first one is a vertices and second one is the edges students vertices are also known as nodes okay so obviously graph is a comprises two different things one is vertices and one is edges edges is nothing but a connecting line between two nodes okay now let's see and explain it with an example now see here in this figure in this figure the circles the nodes a b c d are known as your vertices and the line connecting between these two nodes line connecting between these two nodes is known as edges fine so what is the real time example of graph so if you remember in your facebook account you can see your network your network of friends right you can see also your mutual friends okay if you and me has 21 mutual friends that means between your node and between my node we have 21 different other nodes which are common between us same like that this is the figure of facebook this is a real time example of graph which is using facebook fine so here the two friends are there there is a link between of them it shows the connection between two friends fine and these circles these circles are known as nodes and the line connecting between these two nodes are known as edges so what do we mean by the graph graph it shows non hierarchical relationship it's a big difference between tree and graph tree is a non linear data structure yes graph is a non linear data structure yes sir how it's a non linear data structure see here the in linear data structure the storage pattern of the element is in a sequential fashion but it's not like in tree and graph that's why tree and graph are known as non linear data structure in tree the data elements are stored in a hierarchical fashion and in graph they are stored in a non hierarchical fashion so let's move forward to the next topic our next topic is operations on data structure students on various data structure we can do very basic operations which are very common such like insertion deletion 
searching, shorting, merging, and the last one is traversing. Okay. Insertion that means insert an element into the data structure. Deletion it means to delete the element from data structure. Merging that means to merge two different data structures. Then the sorting it means like ascending order or descending order. Okay. Searching like we are searching in the array. And the last one is traversing. Students traversing means when we have to visit each and every node or each and every element of the data structure. That operation is known as traversing. Suppose in my class I have 60 students. Then if I reach to the each and every student personally to check her notebook. Then at that time that operation is known as traversing. So it means to just touch each and every element in either in a like way to for the insertion for deletion that operation is known as traversing where you can access each and every element at least once okay fine now let's move forward to the next topic students here i'm just taking some basic examples the first one is array array means pot array means collection of homogeneous elements here you can see that here the array which contains the elements like 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and at the time the first index in the array starts from 0. Fine. So the next is stack. So stack follows last in first out manner. In my previous lecture I have already taught you that what do we mean by the stack. Stack is nothing but it's a linear data structure and here are some basic real time examples of stack. Just imagine the stack of coins, stack of chats. If you are doing any backclick in your browser, that is also known as example of stack. How? I will show you. Next example is recursion. Fine. Recursion that means function calling itself. It also is the example of stack. Stack is used over there. And the last example I am going to take is control Z. Okay. Now let's see. The first is stack of chair and stack of coins. Students, you can see that this is the stack of coins. Fine. The stack of coins where each and every coins is just put situated on each other. Okay. This is a stack of chairs. If you want to remove something from this stack, if you want to remove something from this stack, you just take it out from the top of the stack and bring it down. If you want to insert something, then just put that chair on the top of this chair stack fine such like this or the next example is browser clickback students just see this video in this video first i am just searching in the browser that data structure after that clicking on the geek for geeks okay after that i am just browsing to the another page or inside page so this in stack the first is google then the next is our geek for geeks next is inside page after that if i'm going back from it is again go from the google search and again back from back towards the browser so when you are just writing something in a browser and go to the google page okay it is the first element of stack after that clicking on the geek for geeks it's another after that inside page it's another stack now if you click on the back button of browser it just move the first page then the next geek for geek page then our google search results so such like this stack is used in the browser back click fine now the next topic is recursion and control z we already know recursion means function calls itself our factorial example is very much common for it and the next is undo redo if you are doing control z every time if i, if I am just writing a data structure okay and i am again doing control z after that i am doing control z then what happens data structure is gone okay if i am again writing like computer science and again doing control z then what happens control z after control z the computer science is gone so control z is used to just undo your work right in that stack is used okay now the next is queue so in application of queue queue follows the first in first out manner students and like single shared computer or printer if i have a one printer and so many computers are sharing that resources 
at that time the queue is used okay next is cpu task scheduling in call center job of call center the person will give you the list of the people to call them if you are at that time you are just taking picking up the first number and calling that person then picking up the next number and calling that person in a sequential manner okay but in a one queue okay fine the next is call log in your mobile phone just check out your call log it also contains the data structure queue and the next one is music player in our Ghana application any other music player application we are just making our playlist and the playlist is the biggest example of queue data structure now see this image it shows the first in first out and last in last out both terminologies are same for queue now the next is see queue is follows the FIFO manner so here in this example students you can see that people are just standing in a queue and they just go out from one by one so this is the best example for queue first in first out manner another example is that queue songs your playlist okay these songs are just playing in a sequential manner according to our playlist selection the next is link list link list is nothing but it's a collection of nodes where each and every node contains two different things one is data and another is a pointer see this is the example of train where each and every compartment of train is known as node and the link or connection between two compartments of train is known as the link or a pointer okay so this can be a real time example or you can easily understand the link list with this example fine now the next is link list nodes okay where we are implementing or where we are use actual application of link list that is we can implement stack and queue using link list add data in the middle without any hurdles then dynamic memory allocation is easily done by link list and adjacency representation of graph using link list fine so next is tree the example of tree are folder structure then the high bandwidth router tree is used over there in google maps tree is also used okay now let's see the basic example of tree this folder structure in your my computer or in your computer you can store your picture like e drive then college then college then friends and again your picture name so it's just a hierarchy fashion okay so this is the example of tree where our tree data structure is actually we are using it so the next is graph graph is collection of nodes and vertices graph is used in google maps flowcharts then electronic circuits shortest path and in facebook okay fine so these are the examples of graph see in google map the nodes green and red that location pointers are known as nodes the link connecting between these two nodes is known as edges fine now the next is another example of graph is the facebook connections okay where each and every people are connected with each other okay this relationship is represented as graph oh, fine now in this lecture you will understand about the real time applications of data structure okay so if you have any doubt then please feel free to ask me thank you so much